Welcome to my game. The rules of this game are simple. There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game? And got in the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. Oh, that's really sweet of you. I'm going out to play, mommy! <gasps> I saw a monster! 
what monster? I didn't see anything. It's probably just your imagination. My instincts have always kept me alive. And this time's no different. They weren't wrong. The company sought to control everyone and everything in this town. But they were wrong. It's not always possible. Not with those like me. Like us. Rebel Cops is a spin-off game from the series This is the right Police, away. which is completely geared toward turn-based tactical operations. After a mysterious mafia boss named Victor Zuev captured the town of Ripton, a small group of officers didn't want to serve the new criminal power and went underground. Your task is to take down the Zuev Empire and place him under arrest, but getting to him will not be easy. Criminals of every stripe stand in your way. Not to mention the official police, your former colleagues, now serving their new master. Your cops no longer drive patrol cars, and they've moved from the police station into a rotten cabin in the woods. But they're still loyal to their oath to protect the law. So they should try to arrest the criminals, not kill them. You have at your disposal an arsenal of non-lethal weapons and equipment as well as special tactical perks, which you can unlock as you upgrade your rebels. But what if violence seems inevitable? Knock, knock! Well, then things aren't so simple. Rebel Cops respects the traditions of the genre, but introduces one fundamental change, no hit points. When someone is shot, they'll bleed out quickly, and getting a bullet in the head means instant death. Combating organized crime requires teamwork. Without careful planning, competently occupied positions, and coordinated action of the whole group, you'll lose half your squad in the first real skirmish. Ouch! That hurts more than I thought. When Zuev appeared on the scene, the town became impoverished. Most of the major businessmen went down on their knees before him and are now working to illegally enrich his empire. So next time you're conducting an operation in the lair of another corrupt scumbag, don't forget to look around you're sure to fill your pockets with all sorts of valuables. Some you might be able to sell for a profit on the black market, and you desperately need the money. Guns, ammo, batons, knives, tasers, grenades, body armor and helmets, first aid kits, lock picks, you name it. Without proper supplies, you won't be able to handle a single operation. Put the hands behind your back, jerk. Hands where I can feel. Fortunately, you'll come across useful stuff on your missions. 
Rebel Cops doesn't just feature compact operations where you need to fight for every inch of space, but also large open locations to explore the sandbox levels. Search every room, break into safes and vaults, and you'll be rewarded. Well, hello there. A guerrilla war is always a struggle, but there's one resource that's more difficult to get than any other. Street cred. Officially, you're now an outlaw, and you can't hide behind your badge anymore. Your only support is what you get from your fellow countrymen. If you ignore their requests and don't share your valuables with them, and if innocent people die during your missions, word on the street quickly puts your good name in the mud. Merchants will refuse to do business with you, and even some of your own people will turn their backs on you. Damn, that was close! It's tough losing your own people, but it's even worse letting Ripton down. The people are on the brink of despair, and you are their last hope.